Welcome to the morning update. I'm Erin Roan. The rain is set to ease across large parts of Australia's east coast today, but strong winds are set to cause more issues. Across Greater Sydney, river levels are still rising. Residents in parts of the city's northwest were evacuated overnight. The Weather Bureau's Matthew Bass says they're keeping a close eye on Windsor. We're expecting a flood peak there up to around 14.3 metres around midday on Wednesday. And that's actually larger than what we saw in March of, of uh, 2021 and uh, only just below the uh, flood peak from 1978. While an evacuation order in Scone has been cancelled and those in Narrabeen on Sydney's northern beaches have gotten the green light to return home. Further north, severe storms are forecast for Queensland today. Heavy rain, hail and flash flooding are expected across large parts of the southeast. Labor is backing a push for dedicated disaster response teams to be established within the Defence Force. Opposition leader Anthony Albanese says greater resources are needed. I think it's a constructive idea that's worthy of of consideration and worthy of debate, including with Defence. This isn't a time where you make our policy on the run, but we do need to put in place uh, those measures. The US and the UK have confirmed a ban on all Russian oil imports as the Ukraine conflict worsens. It comes amid claims Russian strikes are targeting humanitarian corridors. US President Joe Biden says the additional sanctions have support from both sides of the aisle. We're banning all imports of Russian oil and gas and energy. That means Russian oil will no longer be acceptable at US ports and the American people will deal another powerful blow to Putin's war machine. While Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky delivered a video address to the UK House of Commons overnight saying he will never give in. We will not give up and we will not lose. We will fight till the end at sea, in the air. We will continue fighting for our land, whatever the cost. The state funeral for Shane Warne is expected to be held at the MCG on the 30th of March. Discussions are underway with the Melbourne Cricket Club. but Plans have been halted until his body arrives back home. It is expected to land here on a private plane later on today. And the US Supreme Court says it will not review Bill Cosby's sexual assault case. The disgraced comedian walked free from prison in June. The decision means he will remain a free man. In sport, Australia failed to take a single second innings wicket on day five of the first test against Pakistan, leaving the game to peter out to a draw. In the women's comp, the Australian side claimed a seven-wicket victory over Pakistan in the one-day World Cup in New Zealand. In entertainment news, and Justin Bieber's Justice Tour is back in full swing after his recovery from COVID. He wowed fans with a two-hour show in LA, bringing famous mates Leon Bridges and Don Tolliver on stage. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update. 